Amen. In response to God's word read and proclaimed, please rise in body and spirit and let us join our voices in the affirmation of faith. We trust in Jesus Christ, fully human, fully God. Jesus proclaimed the reign of God, preaching good news to the poor and release to the captives, teaching by word and deed, and blessing the children, healing the sick, and binding up the brokenhearted, eating with outcasts, forgiving sinners, and calling all to repent and believe the gospel, unjustly condemned for blasphemy and sedition, Jesus was crucified, suffering the depths of human pain and giving his life for the sins of the world. God raised this Jesus from the dead, vindicating his sinless life, breaking the power of sin and evil, delivering us from death to life eternal. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> now let us join our hearts and minds and go to God in prayer. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of promise and purpose in Jesus Christ, you've made us for good works, which reflect your magnificent goodness sometimes brightly, and we admit, sometimes dimly. Even so, you direct and redirect our days. You lead us on our way. You are with us even in our deepest pain, fear, and bewilderment. You hear our cry when others turn a deaf ear and a cold heart. You lift us from the depths of discouragement and walk with us over the troubled waters of life. Lord, on this Labor Day weekend, we ask your peace in our hearts and our minds as we discern how we might participate in your work. Wherever you have placed us in our jobs, our work at home, our search for employment, in retirement, in whatever season of labor we currently inhabit, Lord, equip us to offer our talents, our education, our resources not for a faster world, but for a world that would move in step with your spirit and with the rhythm of your word. Lord, teach us the patient pace of Christ. And so, Lord, we pray for our neighbors that labor among us, for us, with us, at nearby restaurants and retailers, our neighbors who grow and move our food and other goods to local stores, our siblings who live in food deserts. Lord, you pay perfect attention to all of us and each of us, numbering even the hairs on our head. Help us, Lord, to slow down and attend to each other with the same steadfast and attentive love. And Lord, we pray for the church that you have called and equipped and sent to participate in your work. Lord, we pray that you would help us to participate in the peace and order that you mean to permeate your creation. Lord, we pray for reconciliation among families, factions, and nations, those caught up in deadly violence, those who serve to protect and put an end to violence. Lord, may your justice and peace reign. May your comfort hold close those who mourn. Indeed, Lord, we remember those who have crossed before us on the other side of life's lake. Compassionate Savior, we pray for the special needs that we carry with us, those names and situations that weigh heavy on our hearts. And Lord, we thank you that you hear us. You reach out your hand when we cry out to you. Lord, may we feel your presence in such times. Clothe us with your love. Inspire us with dreams from you. Hold us up when we falter in the storm and bring us safely to your promised place of rest and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.